Sam Altman just declared a code red at OpenAI. And it's all because of what Google released. The CEO of ChatGPT is literally panicking, pulling teams off other projects to urgently improve their model. I spent weeks researching what Google's been building, and here's the thing. Most people are still defaulting to ChatGPT while completely missing that Google's Gemini 3 is already outperforming it on major benchmarks. And what's coming next with Gemini 4? It's about to change everything you thought you knew about which AI to use. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down Google's upcoming Gemini 4 and how it stacks up against OpenAI's ChatGPT 5.1. We'll explore the capabilities that actually matter when you can expect Gemini 4 to drop and what this means for you, whether you're building with AI or just trying to get more done. First up, let's talk about why OpenAI is in emergency mode. The AI arms race. Why OpenAI declared code red. Here's what happened. ChatGPT burst onto the scene in late 2022 and completely caught Google off guard. The company that basically invented modern AI research suddenly found itself scrambling. But Google didn't panic. They went all in, merging Google Brain and DeepMind into one supercharged unit with a single mission, surpass ChatGPT. When Gemini 3 launched in November 2025, it didn't just compete, it outperformed ChatGPT on several key benchmarks. Sam Altman's response? An actual internal memo declaring code red, telling teams to drop other projects and focus on improving ChatGPT because Google's catching up faster than expected. The company that created the AI chatbot race is now in emergency mode. This sets up Gemini 4 with sky-high expectations and fierce competition. Both companies are throwing everything they have at this. Gemini 4, the multimodal powerhouse. The multimodal capabilities are going to be game-changing. Gemini doesn't just read text. It natively processes images, audio, videos, and code simultaneously in one unified brain. Unlike ChatGPT, which stitches together separate systems for different inputs, Gemini was built from the ground up for unified understanding. Demis Hassabis has been clear about this philosophy. Gemini integrates vision, speech, and text the way humans naturally process information. And researchers are speculating that Gemini 4 might incorporate 3D environment understanding or even robotics control. We're talking about an AI that can navigate spatial information and reason about the physical world. But the reasoning capabilities are where things get really impressive. Gemini 3 introduced Deep Think Mode where the AI works through complex problems step-by-step -step internally before answering. Let me give you a concrete example. On Humanity's last exam, a brutally difficult 2,500-question test covering advanced math, science, and history, Gemini 3 scored 37.5%. ChatGPT 5.1, just 26.5% on the same exam. That's a massive gap in problem-solving ability. Now here's something most people miss. The context window. ChatGPT 5.1 has about 400,000 tokens, roughly hundreds of pages. Gemini 3 already has 1 million tokens. That's more than double. You could feed Gemini an entire book, multiple research papers, or a massive code base, and it processes all of it at once without forgetting earlier parts. There's also something fascinating happening behind the scenes. Google is using Gemini 3's abilities to help design Gemini 4's architecture. Engineers are running experiments where the AI suggests optimizations and neural network structures that humans might not have thought of. It's AI-assisted AI development, potentially leading to breakthroughs we haven't imagined. Finally, integration. This is where Google has a massive advantage OpenAI can't match. Gemini isn't living in a standalone app. It's everywhere in the Google ecosystem. It's powering Google Search, built into Gmail, Docs, and Sheets. And here's the big one. Google is replacing Google Assistant entirely with Gemini by early 2026. Every Android phone, Google Home device, Nest speaker, they'll all run Gemini as the AI Assistant. When Gemini 4 launches, all these integration points get upgraded instantly. Google's building toward an AI that's genuinely helpful in everyday life, not just when you open a chat interface. ChatGPT 5.1, OpenAI's counter move. 
OpenAI isn't sitting around. ChatGPT 5.1 brought serious improvements with two modes, Instant for quick responses and Thinking Mode for deeper reasoning, basically their version of Google's approach. They've also reduced hallucinations and made the model more factual. ChatGPT 5.1 is competitive on multimodality. You can upload images, use voice input, and generate images through DALI 3. But there's a subtle difference. ChatGPT combines separate modules for vision with the language model, while Gemini's multimodal understanding is more natively unified. One area where ChatGPT shines is the plugin ecosystem. OpenAI opened ChatGPT to third party developers. So you've got plugins for travel booking, shopping, database searches, dozens of integrations. Google embedded Gemini into their own suite of services. It's a philosophical difference. OpenAI is building a platform others can plug into, while Google is embedding Gemini into tools we already use daily. Both models are becoming more agentic, able to take actions like executing code or controlling browsers. Gemini 3 can plan multi-step tool use and autonomously code programs. ChatGPT 5.1 has similar capabilities through advanced data analysis and plugins. They're in a feature parity race, each trying to make their AI more autonomous while keeping it safe. Here's the kicker. In just a few months after launch, Gemini reached over 650 million active users thanks to its Google integration. The competition is so tight that you might not even consciously choose one. You'll use ChatGPT for some tasks and Gemini when you're in Google Apps, sometimes without realizing it. When will Gemini 4 launch? Google hasn't announced a date, but we can make educated guesses. They unveiled Gemini 1.0 in late 2023, Gemini 2.0 around end of 2024, and Gemini 3.0 in November 2025. Following this annual pattern, Gemini 4 could land in late 2026, possibly earlier if competition intensifies. There's pressure to move fast. Leaked memos suggest OpenAI might push out GPT 5.2, codenamed Garlic, by early 2026. Google won't want to fall behind. Training a model as massive as Gemini 4 takes months on Google's supercomputers, even with their cutting-edge TPU v6 chips. Add regulatory and safety evaluation. Google participated in the UK's AI Safety Summit and shares early versions with experts for red teaming. And late 2026 is realistic. The release might happen in stages, first to developers via cloud, then to consumers in Google products. Keep an eye on Google I.O. 2026 or an Alphabet AI event for announcements. What this means for you. For developers, Gemini 4 could offer an incredibly powerful API through Google Cloud with state-of-the-art language and vision understanding. Gemini 3 already generates working app prototypes from scratch, creates data visualizations, and designs UI layouts from natural language. With Gemini 4, this gets even better. Faster development cycles and minimal manual coding. ChatGPT 5.1 is equally compelling, excelling at code generation and debugging. The competition means you'll have multiple top-tier AI models to choose from, keeping pricing competitive and innovation rapid. If Gemini 4 incorporates advanced agentic behavior, developers could build autonomous agents for business workflows, AI that reads emails, schedules meetings, manages databases, all through natural language. For enterprises, this rivalry means more innovation and better pricing for AI solutions. Google will integrate Gemini 4 into Google Cloud and Workspace, while OpenAI pushes ChatGPT Enterprise. Companies can choose the ecosystem that fits best. The arms race is forcing improvement in reliability. By the time Gemini 4 launches, we might be looking at models that consistently pass professional exams and handle complex legal or financial queries correctly, making them far more viable for industry use. For general users, if you use Google products, Gemini 4 becomes your invisible assistant. Searching on Google will feel like chatting with an expert. On your phone, Google Assistant will be replaced by Gemini's more capable conversational AI, handling complex multi-part commands that would stump older assistants. For ChatGPT users, expect OpenAI to keep pace. 
By the time Gemini 4 launches, ChatGPT might be at version 5.2 or 5.3 with its own enhancements. The AI services you rely on are getting dramatically better, fast. This competition is accelerating the march toward more general AI capabilities. Expect more attention on safety features, better content filtering, easier ways to correct the AI, and more transparency. Both companies will try to outdo each other in power and trust. Final thoughts. Google's Gemini 4 and OpenAI's ChatGPT 5.1 represent the cutting edge of AI. Gemini 4 promises unparalleled multimodal understanding and deep integration into daily tools. ChatGPT 5.1 remains a formidable generalist with widespread adoption and a flexible ecosystem. Just a couple years ago, having an AI chat naturally or write code felt like science fiction. Now we're comparing two incredibly advanced systems and debating which one reasons better. Both will likely be extremely sophisticated, each pushing the other to new heights. As Demis Hassabi said, this represents a big step toward models that understand the world like humans do. For those of us using these tools, we all win when AI models get better and more accessible. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more AI updates. Drop a comment. What Gemini 4 feature are you most excited about? Do you think it will outshine ChatGPT 5.1? Or will OpenAI maintain their lead? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious.